Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Trick. And when I was naming that first part of the video, I named it some sort of shadow. And I'm started thinking, you could do the whole thing with the shadow tool, but the block shadow tool. So we've got our text. We don't have to do anything to it. We're going to go to the shadow, but use block shadow. I don't really know when block shadow started. It wasn't always around. So I apologize if you don't have it. But so you can do it the other way. So you make the shadow and then you go to object and break the shadow apart. I've still got my nudge factor set pretty high. So we're going to take our shadow and we're going to left click, right click. And then we're going to bring in our lines. And then we're going to nudge this over. Remember, nudge, don't move. And then grab all that and intersect it. And then nudge this back. And voila, you've already got it. And just like before, we can change it to something other. Let me zoom in here. You don't have to have it the hairline. You can have it quite a bit thicker font, you know, lines if you want. That's probably too much. You know, maybe a four. But like in before, you can always grab the text and nudge it over and up. And then you have an outline around the text and you can change the outline to whatever point you want. You can actually change the colors. You know, we can change the color to a dark blue and change the lines to a light blue. We can change the outline. I've still got the other, I'm gonna nudge it out of the way and grab that line and make it a light blue. And then I can grab my text or my lines back. There's a lot you can do with that. You know, make it yellow, uh, make the whole thing yellow, make it red and have whatever color you want. And whenever you want to grab both of them, you can just nudge that out of the way and then right click red and then nudge that back because you're having to grab two things at one time. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.